Welcome to part two of our H2 Blue experiment video. We wanted to make a special bonus video featuring some different experiments and cool things you can do with H2 Blue. No fluff on this video, just hands on demonstrations. Click the card to see our last video where we do more explaining and teaching about H2 Blue. Are you ready? Here we go. First, I want to demonstrate the importance of not shaking the beaker when testing for dissolved hydrogen gas. Here, I have hydrogen water and two beakers and some extra blue. I will use one to test the water so we have a good idea what the dissolved hydrogen concentration is in this bottle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, That looks like about 1.4, 1.4 milligrams per liter or 1.4 ppa. Now let's test it again and overshake it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So one, one ppm or one milligram per liter. You can see by shaking the beaker in that way, we lost approximately 0 0.4 milligrams per liter of H2, thereby lowering the reading. Now with this beaker, I'm gonna fill it all the way up to 25 milliliters. Let's see how many drops I can get to clear this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. Twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty. Forty 
41, 50 50 drops we got to clear wow that was a jump in the reading what do you think does this water all of a sudden have a higher concentration of h2 if you said no you would be correct at 25 milliliters you will have to divide the milligrams per liter by four to get what the actual h2 milligram per liter concentration is this is because the correct volume to use when testing your sample is six milliliters. This is why having the accurate volume of water in your sample is so important. If you have too much, it will appear that you have more hydrogen than you really do. So keep these things in mind when testing your hydrogen concentration for yourself. Lastly, this is a very important fact to know when others are using H2 Blue to verify their hydrogen water concentrations. This is a simple little demo that does not require you to be a skilled professional at testing for dissolved hydrogen, but it'll help you show that there is a big difference between hydrogen rich water and regular water. Just have two beakers, one with regular water. It can be tap water, bottled water, or whatever water you choose. I actually have distilled water in mind and one with hydrogen water. And then just add one or two drops of H2 Blue to each beaker. This will definitely show that there's something different with this water versus regular water. Obviously, this is not a test to show concentration. So do not get the two confused. This is just a test to demonstrate the presence of dissolved H2. You can also show that H2 blue is an oxidizer that reacts with vitamin C because it reacts with antioxidant-like molecules. Molecular hydrogen is still new and foreign to most people, but antioxidants are not. This demo is a simple way to make a correlation for people that what's dissolved in hydrogen water has antioxidant-like effects. Now, let me be clear, molecular hydrogen is not a conventional antioxidant, but has antioxidant-like effects. This means it has the ability to bring a cell back into redox homeostasis. But its mechanism does not appear to be primarily as a conventional free radical scavenger like vitamin C. Hydrogen does this by signal modulation, whereas vitamin C is a direct free radical scavenger. This demo can help people understand that water that contains vitamin C contains an antioxidant. And hydrogen-rich water contains a therapeutic agent that can act as an antioxidant. In this beaker, we have hydrogen-rich water. And in this beaker, we have water that contains ascorbic acid or vitamin C. The next test is really cool and probably my favorite. It's called the hydrogen gas permeability test. If you don't know already, molecular hydrogen is the smallest molecule in the universe. How small is it? We made a whole video about how small H2 is and why it's important. You can go watch that video here. This test helps to demonstrate that fact. We are gonna fill this jar with hydrogen rich water. And in this bag, we're gonna add some H2 blue. Then we're gonna put this bag into this jar of water and see what happens.
What just happened? The hydrogen from the water in the jar was able to penetrate the plastic bag and react with H2 glue. This helps to illustrate that hydrogen gas can penetrate cellular membranes and hard to reach places in our bodies because it's so small. Well, what did you think of these bonus tests using H2 Blue? It's really amazing to be able to have a tool such as this to be able to test something as small as hydrogen gas. Thank you for watching this bonus experiment video. From all of us at H2Minutes, have a very Merry Christmas. We will see you in 2020 with your dose of H2 in two minutes.